What's going on guys? It's Monday, it's Columbus Day, so I had the day off, mostly off. I did have to work my one part-time job, but only for two hours, so it's all fine. Just got home, and today I want to talk about The Joker. If you don't know, there's a new movie out, it's called The Joker. It's about The Joker. It's an origin story, it's based in the 70s, I do believe. Um, it stars Joaquin Phoenix, and it's a story about how he came to be. Now this is kind of interesting because typically in most Batman stories, Joker's origin is kind of shrouded in mystery. Um, they're given some details about who he is and how he came to be, kind of, but not exactly like a full story. Uh, I found this movie to be really good, and here's why. First of all, if you didn't know, well, especially now because I'm wearing a Dragon Ball Z hoodie, I'm a huge nerd. Um, I love comic books. I grew up on comic books, so reading them back in the day just takes me back. So this whole wave of comic book movies has just been great for me. Um, I especially love origin stories because I love to see how a character develops, what makes them tick, and even more so than typical origin movies, I love villain origin stories because you get to see that maybe they were just like a normal person to start with and then you get to see how the world shaped them. Second of all, if you don't know me, I am a pretty big mental health advocate. I've written books about it. I've dealt with it for the last 16 years or so. Um, I've given speeches about it and so on and so forth. So for me, this movie was really, uh, it really hit home. There's parts of the movie that I could identify with. There's parts of the movie that um, definitely made me feel uneasy. Uh, there's parts that I could identify with other people and generally a great piece of artwork um, kind of gives a reflection of what's going on in society and I really think that this movie did a lot of that because it gives an idea or a picture or a framework of how some people could have mental illness and the steps that could be taken or that could happen in their life to have these sort of things happen in our country like um, the gun rampages, the school shootings, so on and so forth. I was really impressed with Joaquin Phoenix and his performance as the Joker. Um, man, it just kept building the whole movie and you're not really sure which turns it's going to take. Uh, I went with my brother and we were turning to each other the whole time and it's one of those movies where we were talking to each other the whole time, we're like, no way, that's happening. Like, what? No. Uh, and I just love that kind of stuff because that's how I felt when I was reading comics when I was growing up. Like, you turn the page and you're just like, oh, what? And so for it to get that kind of feeling between me and my brother, that was great because it led to all these different questions that we had, all these different routes that the movie could have taken. It was just really interesting to see. Now, the other thing that I will say about this movie is that uh, tread lightly and make sure you know yourself pretty well if you do have um, a past with mental health issues because, like I said before, it's kind of unsettling and it can be kind of hard to sit through. Um, one worry that I know is out there right now is that uh, certain people are going to feel emboldened or empowered by this and they're going to feel okay to do these things. I don't necessarily think that's true. Um, I think the people that are already in that bad of mental health anyway will look for anything and they'll look for any reason. They'll look for any excuse to have the actions that they do. So I don't think necessarily that this movie will promote that even further. If anything, I hope it sheds a light even further on mental health and we can keep growing as a world and recognizing it. So maybe this movie will show people kind of what it's like to be in someone's head. I know it's a pretty level 10, 0 out of 10, you know, mental health thing. But, you know, these things do happen. Um, and maybe it'll just kind of give people a little bit of insight. For the movie, I'm going to give it straight up 9 out of 10. I loved it. Um, I don't know what could have been any better. Um, it is a little bit long. It's kind of unsettling. 
Uh, it left me with a lot of questions. It left me with a lot of stuff to unpack in my head, really thinking about the movie again. Um, it's just one of those movies that I really enjoyed, and it really hit home, and it made me feel things inside. And that's what I think a great piece of artwork does. So if you haven't seen the movie, go check it out. Let me know what you think if you have seen the movie down below in the comments. Uh, share this movie, or share this movie. Good Lord. Share this video if you want to. Hit the subscribe button. I really do appreciate everyone that subscribes to my channel. I'm trying to make it grow little by little, so all your support really does help. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys next week, and that's life from my perspective.